Good morning. For today's lab, we are going to determine the identity of this magical mystery salt. Ta da! The magical mystery salt! The magical mystery salt is what we are doing today. What we are doing today. Take it away. What you're going to do is identify this mystery salt based on its solubility characteristics. You're going to create a solubility curve for this salt. Now your solubility reference table gives you solubility in terms of how many grams of salt you can dissolve for every 100 grams of water you have to dissolve it in at a various temperature. Now 100 grams of water is great, but we got to fit that into this test tube. And this 100 grams of water, well, that's just not going to fit into the test tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this lab down by a factor of 10. Instead of using 100 grams of water, we're going to use 10 grams of water. And we're going to use proportionately that much less salt. So instead of using 40 grams of salt, we'd only use 4 grams of salt. Instead of using 60 grams of salt, we'd only use 6 grams of salt. Everything will be scaled down by a factor of 10. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure out a certain number of grams of magical mystery salt, put it into the test tube with 10 grams of water, heat it up in the hot water bath until it all dissolves. Then you're going to let it cool, and as you let it cool, keep an eye on the thermometer. As soon as you start to see a precipitate, record the temperature right here under precipitation temperature. So you're going to get data for 3 grams, 4 grams, 5 grams, 6 grams, 7 grams, and 8 grams of magical mystery salt per 10 grams of water. Now it would be a complete waste of salt and water just to dump this out every time between each trial. So what you're going to do is, since you already have 3 grams in there, after you've done the first trial with 3 grams, just simply add one additional gram. Weigh out one gram and have it ready and add it as the fourth gram. Then you're going to re-dissolve it and repeat the process. Then add another gram. So now you're going to have five grams in here. Dissolve it and repeat the process. Then add another gram and then another gram and then another gram until you have data for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight grams worth of salt dissolved per 10 grams of water. And the best part is you don't have to dump it out after each trial. We can recycle. After you're done getting your data, you're going to be ready to graph your data. You're going to plot the precipitation temperature on the x-axis and the equivalent grams of magical mystery salt per 100 grams of water on the y-axis. The equipment you need for this lab includes a test tube rack and test tube with test tube holder, two 600 milliliter beakers, a pair of beaker tongs, plastic spoon, two plastic weigh boats, a bottle of distilled water and a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, a thermometer, centogram balance, and a ring stand with two rings and one piece of wire gauze and a Bunsen burner. First, obtain several spoonfuls of the salt into an empty weigh boat. Set a beaker over a Bunsen burner flame to heat to use as a hot water bath. Weigh an empty weigh boat. Set the balance ahead by three grams, then carefully add the mystery salt until the balance becomes even. Tap the edge of the spoon to gently add it a little bit at a time. Perfect. Add 10 milliliters of distilled water to a graduated cylinder. Add the salt gently to the test tube. And then add the 10 milliliters of water to the salt. Place the thermometer in the test tube. Place the test tube into the hot water bath and stir using the thermometer to dissolve the salt. Holding on to the test tube holder to keep it steady as you stir. Gradually the salt dissolves. Obtain some ice in a beaker.
Once all the salt has been dissolved, remove the test tube and begin cooling it in the ice water bath. Dunk, up, stir, check. Dunk, up, stir, check. Dunk, up, stir, check. When you see a precipitate, record the temperature. Okay, once you've recorded the temperature, you can now add the next gram in line and repeat the process. Repeat this process until you have data for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight grams worth of salt. Okay, great. Now you've got your data. Now what you're going to do is you're going to identify your salt based on that data by comparing your solubility data with the solubility curve reference table. But the solubility curve reference table gives you the solubility in terms of grams of salt per 100 grams of water. So you're going to use your data for 100 grams of water. Everything's scaled up by a factor of 10. Don't forget to put circles as point protectors around each of your data points. Then you're going to draw a smooth curve the best you can through your data. Obviously, this is probably not what your data is going to look like. Now let's figure out what the identity of the salt is. First, we'll take a certain number of grams and we'll go over the line and we'll drop it down and see what its solubility temperature is. Find the same one on the solubility curve reference table and see which points match best. Then take another point, move across. See which one matches on the solubility reference table. As you match each successive point, it'll bring you closer and closer to figuring out the identity of the magical mystery salt. Once you've done that, it's mission accomplished.